facilities of WTMJ Milwaukee, the National Broadcasting Company, takes pleasure in presenting another Stan Kenton concert in miniature. Music in the modern mood, as progressive as today, and as new as tomorrow. Direct from George Devine's Million Dollar Ballroom in Milwaukee, we bring you Stan Kenton's interpretation of progressive music. We're sure you'll enjoy the vitality and the imaginative quality of Stan Kenton. And now, here is modern America's man of music and your host, Stan Kenton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, Tom, it was a bit unusual. I, uh, I feel a little bit embarrassed, and I might as well say so, that I gave the cue for the applause and... I, uh, the applause was for me, and well, I... Stan, the only reason that was is because you have such nice big hands, you see. It works out very well. well. Fine. Well, you've got two of them. Will you take care of some of that after this? Certainly will. Very good, Tom. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, those of you listening in to this evening, we are doing our second concert in miniature here from a place in Milwaukee that all of us in music have played a great deal, George Devine's Million Dollar Ballroom. You know George Devine, the name, any name, means very little to you till you know a little bit about the guy. That's what makes a name live. George Devine has run this place for 19 years. There's been a lot of music and a lot of bands. I do know one thing about him. He's, he's a guy that's very fond of musicians, and he also is very fond and a great fan of the boxing world. He gets a great kick out of knowing just exactly who's playing first trumpet for Woody Herman. He knows who plays drums with Elliot Lawrence, and he, he knows who's writing the most arrangements for Duke Ellington. How do we know he's fond of musicians and prize fighters? You should hear him introduce a musician. It's the same as he introduces a prize fighter. <laughs> So much for George Devine at the moment. We're very thankful to be here to present this. Oh, fellas, do you have the first number, the one we spoke of? It's the number that we recorded some time back for the Capitol people. It lasts approximately three minutes. I think this is the number that we got on the first take. It only took a few minutes to get it. Do you suppose in three minutes we can get a good sound here? I wish you people would be quiet, please. I'm discussing with the orchestra. They get extremely nervous, uh, nervous I should say, if the... Uh, back to the band. Fellas, I'm going to give you four beats. If you'll start on the imaginary fifth, there should be sounds shooting all over the network. Ready? This is called Dynaflow. One, two, three. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Well, we say the show can... The show can now continue with... I should mention the guy that was billed on that last number was a saxophone player by the name of Vinnie Dean. He played 16 bars of improvised solo there. Speaking of saxophone players, there are five of them here standing. There's a light, a spotlight shooting over my shoulder, right over their heads. The composition is something that started with the band very early in the days of the Southern California push when we started in 1941. It was most important then. It was most important the artistry and rhythm band. It was a part of progressive jazz concerts. It was a part of innovations in modern music. At the moment, we thought it might be nice to fill this spot with a composition having to do nothing with the trumpets, the trombones, or the rhythm section, just the saxophones, Dick Meldonian, and the five guys, Opus and Pastels. Dick, I'm giving the nod. Alvin saxophone player, Benny Dean, another Alvin saxophone player, Lee Elliott, Bill Holman playing tenor also, and the guy we call Anchorman, Bob Joga. Uh, say, uh, Condi Condoli, will you step down here from the trumpet section a moment? Condi Condoli, I shouldn't address you as Condi, should I? Because we call you the Count. I uh, would like to assign you a, a problem here. Uh, let's say that you're going to paint a picture of yourself, a sketch. And you're going to use the trumpet as a pencil, and you're going to use the National Broadcasting Company as your pad. We'd like to know just how you look. Let's say you draw a picture of your personality. Now, I must explain this. There are... You listen carefully, Count. There are four bars in which I give for the rhythm section to start. The rhythm section plays four bars, and then we take the count. Count, if there's anything you have to do in the way of adjustments, warming up, you just do it. I have to proceed to the rhythm section.
Kind of condoling. Let's have a bow. I should say that the orchestra did a little backing there, blowing in between open phrases by Connie Condoli, a thing called Round Robin. Here's a portion of the program that is dedicated to what we call abstract music, and I think to introduce abstract music, the title is unimportant, only possibly a short explanation. You know, through musical sound, we'd like to suggest, well, sort of suggest thoughts to your fantasies. We feel that we're achieving if we can produce something that you thought you knew but weren't quite sure. It's like kind of designing objects from imaginary things in the clouds in the sky. Make out a figure in the haze, possibly. We just hope that through the power of musical sounds here, we can make suggestions in a thing that the title is very befitting. Impressionism. Thank you very much. That's the composition called Impressionism, and we hope an impression or two arose. You know, speaking of... Well, let's put it this way. If it were possible for a piece of music set out of a library of ours here, uh, an arrangement will say to receive a, an award of merit or a distinguished service medal of some kind because of service well rendered, I think that we should possibly tag it on to this next arrangement. We've played it a great deal. It was originally conceived in a very simple manner and gradually developed a lot of momentum through the years. A number of musicians have played it. Once a capital recording, still a capital recording. Here once more is the version of, of Lover. Tom. Yes, Dad. Mr. Messine, you know, I've been talking. I've been introducing a number here, and, and I have a problem. As I look from here, the piano is possibly... How long would you say in seconds to get there? Oh, I would say a man of your stature should make that in about eight and a quarter seconds. Can you talk for eight and a quarter seconds while I get there? 
I certainly hope so, sir. Tom, downbeat. Proceed. Right out. Wonderful to have Stan in Milwaukee, and there are a lot of alert faces in the audience. They're all alert, and those in the band are likewise. It's a young, warm, strong-feeling band. They like to work for Stan. He likes to work for you. Everybody has it in their books. That's our particular version. You know, at one time we were at the Paramount Theater in New York. We played there for approximately nine weeks. We started doing six and seven shows a day, and like it always happens, a little boredom took place, and there wasn't anything else to do other than to see how fast we could play the arrangement of Lover and clock it and time it. The fastest time, I think, was clocked at one minute and 27 seconds or thereabouts. Say, fellas, I've been talking to the people on the air. I've been speaking to the people in the room. I just want you to know that when we finish playing here tonight at George Devine's, you must be on the bus ready to go towards Chicago. Do you fellas know we play in Chicago tomorrow night? Yes, we are moving toward, uh, toward New York City. We have a television show to do there Saturday night. We do a show on Sunday night for Bob Snyder. I want you to know that on next Tuesday night, the concert of miniatures is going to come from the town casino in Cleveland. Be sure and try to make plans so you can all be there. Incidentally, I must tell you that you all look very good tonight, and I appreciate so much your showing up tonight for the broadcast. And You know something? Must happen at the moment because we have decided there must be a stamp, a trademark on each program. There's a tune that you all know called Artistry and Rhythm. We'll take at the moment a thing called version number one, Frankie Symbols.
Thank you very much. Thank you for the high trumpet on top, buddy Childers, and thank you, Connie Condoli, for your solo. We must thank Shorty Rogers, too, for the composition round robin. We'll thank you, Dick Muldoney, and your clique, the saxophones for Opus and Pastels. We'll also thank the trombones of Bob Fitzpatrick for a solo on Impressionism for Lover. And again, I said the rhythm section, Don Bagley bass, Ralph Blaze guitar, Frankie Cap. we thank you very much for cooperating with us this evening. What am I thanking everybody for? We're getting paid, aren't we? You know, I'd like to say something. It's wonderful to be at a place such as George Devine's here, to be with people that are the friends of the orchestra. And it's more wonderful yet even to see a guy walk in where fellow that we love in radio because you know why we love him because he loves jazz he loves modern music he's been a great worker for the movement of Woody Herman Dizzy Gillespie Duke Ellington everyone in our field of music these days the guy's name is Tom Racine he's a rather ordinary looking guy but uh, <laughs> things leave there they start developing Tom it's been awfully nice of you to plan to be here with us this evening with our concert in miniature I appreciate it very much and and uh, I've never given anyone a microphone before, but I'd like to give you this one. Well, thank you very much, Stan. It's my pleasure to be here. And I would like Milwaukee to make a large noise in favor of Stan Kenton and the Concert of Miniatures. Come on, start clapping. i got to thank you for <laughs> NBC has brought you another Stan Kenton Concert of Miniature. Kenton's refreshingly original conception of modern music. Music as progressive as today and as new as tomorrow. Our broadcast tonight came to you direct from George Devine's Million Dollar Ballroom in Milwaukee through the facilities of WTMJ. Join us next week at this same time for another Stan Kenton concert in miniature with modern America's man of music. This is Tom Mercine speaking. And this is NBC, the national broadcasting company.